For the last 15 years of my life, I've been sitting in the back seat. Well, well no, literally. Uh, you have to be 16 to get your driver's license. And, you know, I think it's a pretty good system we got here for getting driver's licenses. You know, it keeps most of the unqualified off the road. I just, I just think that our society, our country as a whole even, could benefit from implementing similar licensing processes in different areas. Let's start with the beach. Now, I'm sure many of you are familiar with the very popular Centennial Beach in our very own downtown Naperville. But I'm sure many of you are also familiar with, well, the less flattering swimsuits that like to call Centennial Beach home. You guessed it. I'm talking about the Speedo. <laughs> <laughs> I propose we implement a new city ordinance. All those who wish to wear a Speedo must acquire a proper license. Now, how would the licensing process go? A little something like this. Step one, fill out and submit an application. Step two, each and every one of these applications will be swiftly and promptly <laughs> denied. <laughs> because, let's face it, any piece of swimwear also known as the banana hammock, the <laughs> grape smuggler, <laughs> and the ding-a-ling sling <laughs> should really only be worn in the privacy of your own backyard. That is, a backyard securely enclosed in a 10-foot high fence, in the pitch black, at night, where not even you can see it. <laughs> now, how many of you here like to sing? Like, a lot louder than you probably should. Anybody? Nobody? Yeah. Okay. Come on, put your hands up! I mean, we all are gonna jam out once in a while. And, you know, I'm okay with that. But, have you ever found yourself next to the guy who can't sing on key to save his life? Or, that one guy that only knows the last word of every line? Na, 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 losing sleep. We could be counting stars. <laughs> <laughs> You notice how these people always sing just a few decibels louder than they should? Well, this is why I think we should have implemented two singing licenses. The first is simple, to permit public singing. The second is to permit silently mouthing the words <laughs> where they're being silently. And one more thing, no catchy songs. I'm serious, I mean, I've still got Let It Go from Frozen stuck in my head. Let it go, let it go. Get this song out of my head. Let it go, let it go. I think I'd rather be dead. I mean, I've been hearing that since Thanksgiving for Pete's sake. So, anyone who wants to make a catchy song has to have a license. After all, we wouldn't want another Call Me Navy incident, would we? <laughs> now, here's one I think we can all agree on cell phone licenses. You know, there's a lot of us who are just technologically challenged and cell phone licenses would pair individuals with phones better suited to their own personal skill set. Let's, uh, let's take for example a man, say, around 50, who, well, he's a little bit old school, and I won't name names, so let's just call him Dad. <laughs> <laughs> now, our friend Dad here has a cell phone, but whenever I see him to call it, he doesn't answer. You know, it makes me wonder, is the cell phone even on? Is it on silent? No, he doesn't know how to put it on silent. <laughs> is he singing along to the ringtone? And does he have a license for that? <laughs> now the solution to this problem is getting down a license for an appropriate cell phone. Now, what would he qualify for? Well, considering he can't even work his flip phone, he'll get a nice pair of cups connected by a piece of string. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, is that a ringtone? Is that your cell phone? Uh, yes. Yeah. Can I see your license? <laughs> no. Why not? I don't have one. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh, you don't have one. <laughs> well, I guess that would explain why it went off during the middle of my performance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now where was I? <clears throat> um, hmm. Social media. It's become part of our daily routines. Now, just take Instagram, for example. A selfie on Sunday, a throwback on Thursday, it's an epidemic, and it needs to be contained. Which is why I propose a series of licenses to use popular social media websites. Mainly, this is to deter undesirable behavior. Things like vague booking, oversharing, um, excessive caps, and those <laughs> annoying reposts don't even get me started. You know those posts just begging for likes and shares? 
Share if you love your mom, ignore if you want to be beaten by a pack of demons, then thrown into a bit of fire to burn for eternity. <laughs> oh, well, I do love my mom and I don't really want to burn for eternity, so I guess I'll share the post. And speaking of sharing, that brings me to my next point, oversharing. Now, we all know those individuals who feel they need to share every last thing in their mundane lives. I mean, we don't want to hear it. Status update, just found a little taco sitting at the bus stop. Hashtag, it was yummy. <laughs> New photo, babysitting, changing my first diaper, click. Hashtag, it's a messy one. <laughs> Another new photo, man, I just threw up. It smells like that taco I had earlier. Click, hashtag, it's messier than the baby was. <laughs> now the opposite of oversharing is a phenomenon commonly known as vague booking. Now, what is vague booking, you may ask? This is when, well, to put it simply, it's when an individual posts a status that is intentionally vague enough to prompt a response. You know, things like, everything happens for a reason, but sometimes I question that reason. <laughs> it feels like every time I try to get back up, you just pull me back down. Like my hat. <laughs> Life is like a river. Only I forgot my floaties. <laughs> and then, since you're a decently nice person, you'll comment on their post asking what's wrong. But all they say back is, I'm fine. You're fine. Okay? You're fine. She's fine, everybody. It's okay. She's fine. Moving on. Scroll away. All right. Oh, hey, look, a message. Let's see what it says. Click. Hey, Jeremy, what's up? Ah, stop yelling at me. For those of you who don't know, that's sort of what caps lock feels like, which is why I place a caps limit. Caps limit. It's sort of like a speed limit. Everyone's going to be limited to 15, 20 caps characters per day. So things like this don't happen. Hey. What? Well, it seems I've reached my caps limit, so at the risk of losing my own social media license, I'm going to move on. But first, <laughs> let me take a selfie. <laughs> Speaking of selfies, selfie licenses. And on a side note, duck face licenses. Because very few people can pull off a duck face. And by few, I mean none. <laughs> but back to selfies. If we didn't have selfie licenses, people would just flood their Instagram with selfie after selfie after selfie. Come on, people, it's not even Sunday. But Jeremy, all you do is post selfies. Well, yeah, but I've got a license. <laughs>